just realized that I was unpacking in the wrong room. I was holding back tears. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was holding back tears. I got to a really low point last night and... So today is Wednesday and I just posted a new video. Um, I just finished it like two days ago and it's really about going from burnout to finding balance. That's kind of what I've been trying to do for the longest time. So if you haven't watched that, I'll leave it in the iCards right here. But I think I'm leaning more towards finding balance today. I'm feeling really good today. I called my dad earlier and he's like, you sound happy and I'm like, I am. It's a nice day outside. So I'm just like, why not? But I have a ton of lectures to get to because, like I said in my last vlog, I kind of pushed them all off. So I really got to get to work today. But I am preparing for my first day in clinic, which is tomorrow. That's what this vlog is going to be about. And just getting everything that I need today, practicing what I need to practice, and just making sure that I'm ready for tomorrow. Um, so I'm just going to take you guys along the process. If this is your first vlog from me, I am a second year optometry student in my second semester at Salus University. And as of Thursday, tomorrow, I will be seeing my first patient in the clinic. I'm kind of excited. So make sure you're subscribed and keep on watching. I wouldn't typically start a vlog with my hair like this, but this is like the best hairstyle to do so that I can put my headphones on without having to have my hair super tight in a ponytail like this. Okay, so we've made it out into the living room and we're gonna be sitting right here in this little round chair that I have. Um, the living room just has a lot more light than my bedroom. But I'm gonna have to close these windows because there's construction going on across the street and it's so loud. I feel like I should take my hair down, but I don't. I kinda like my messy bun. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Would the day even be complete if I didn't go to Target? These things here are already charging, the ones that are missing from this case. My BIO does not need to be charged just because I'm pretty sure it's not dead. Okay, so we're just gonna check the battery light. Yeah, it's 100% charged. Here is my little yellow light. But there are a few more things that I wanna do tonight to prepare for tomorrow so that in the morning when I wake up at 6 a.m., <laughs> Um, I can just do what I need to do, get what I need to get, and like get out the door and don't have to like be packing too many things. Um, but I have to literally pack everything. I'm not nervous, but at the same time, I'm just like, I'm kind of nervous, I guess. Cause it's like, somebody's gonna be watching me, you know? So we're gonna see how it goes. And then also the only like thing that I really got from Target was some waters as well as some stock cold brew and my favorite French Vanilla International Delight Creamer. So over here is my suitcase with my VIO and my diagnostic kit and my lenses. And I have my lens kit over here with a couple of items. And then this hot pile over here is all the other pieces of equipment that we've bought over the years. But because this is the only compartment that this suitcase has, I, I really hope you're straight. Got this cute bag from Target and it has so many compartments and so many like zippers. Let me show you. So it, so it has this big compartment here, this big compartment here, and then this zipper compartment right here. 
So here is the before. Empty bag. And this is the after. So as soon as somebody talks about you. But I'm getting ready to go to school to practice in the lab. I have my clinical readiness exam on Thursday. Um, I'll be seeing patients for the very first time on Thursday. I'm not nervous, but I do want to make sure that I'm ready, so. to kind of move to the next room. So let's keep going. back from clinic okay guys so I'm clearly back from clinic and let me just tell you how it went because obviously for me it wasn't gonna be smooth sailing so I got there and I wanted to take a picture and as I'm taking the photo one of the security guards walk up and he's like first day and I'm like how did you know um but he was really really nice he told me exactly where to go to get down to the first floor get downstairs and I'm starting to realize what room are you in if you guys can hear the construction across the street, I'm so sorry. But I'm starting to think about like, what room am I in? And I'm like, do we just choose a room? I don't remember if I have a room assignment, so I'm just like, let me just choose a room. So I go down the hall and I'm like, okay, I'll just choose room two. And then I'm like, oh, the lighting in room two is a little dim. I go over to room three and I start unpacking my things, start unpacking all my equipment. And you guys have seen, there's a lot of equipment. So I start unpacking everything and I get like halfway through unpacking and I'm like, something says room four and I'm like damn it I'm unpacking in the wrong room so we got our schedules a while ago and I put my like preceptor name the date and the time 
and the room number all on my calendar and I've been seeing it for like days. I know, I knew that it was room four. But something that I've noticed about myself is that whenever I get nervous, I forget everything. Like I know absolutely nothing, nothing. I don't know anything. And it takes me a minute to like, you know, <laughs> uh, what's the word, jumpstart. Um, jumpstart my brain before I can actually get going. So now I'm like really trying to quickly put together all my equipment, just throwing it into a pocket so I can bring it to the next room because the room I'm supposed to be in is the following room. So I'm unpacking everything and I'm not really paying attention to make sure that I have everything unpacked. But to me, it looks like I got everything. I go and get my preceptor, I'm like, he's like, are you ready? I'm like, I think so. And when I say I was nervous, guys, like there were, like I was so nervous to the point where like, even the patient that I had, she could see how nervous I was while I was taking like history. And she literally stops and she starts praying for me. And in that moment, it really just reminded me of my mom. And I was holding back tears, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was holding back tears. Um, the patient that I had was very interesting, but for the most part, I would definitely say that my first day in clinic was not the greatest. It wasn't the best, but I definitely don't feel bad about it. And that's kind of what I'm really holding on to and trying to remind myself of is that I didn't do terrible. Because if I tell myself that, then I'm going to waste this beautiful day because it is so nice outside. So for clinic um, today, I did not wear scrubs because I ordered these scrubs last week. I thought they would get here in time. They literally came today. I was hoping they would come one day early, but they didn't. So let's open them up. Looks like this. And I got my name on it. Isn't it so cute? And it's a V-neck and it has, I just hit myself in the face. It has two pockets. Oh, there's three. There's like a third pocket on the inside of one of the pockets. That's a medium. And then I got the medium pants as well. Okay, so full storage. Anyways, like I was saying, these are the pants. I got them in tall, like I said. Um, so they look really, really long and they are jogger style. I kind of want to try them on. And I'm just realizing there's a big, huge stain on my sweater, but I literally just took this out of the wash. So, okay, I've always wanted to do this. Let's try a little edit. Okay, see if it works. Let's try them on. I like it. I think it's cute. There's a little bit of stretch, but not much. The top fits well. The pants are cuffed, as you can see, and they go all the way down to my ankles. Okay, guys, so it is the next day. It is Friday. And as you can see, this wall is still very, very bare. I finished making the album covers, but I just... The problem is that the text on the album covers is white. My walls are white. I don't know why I thought that like it would it would still show. It just looked super, super... It, it, did, it didn't look good. It didn't look good. And I even made like these little marks on the walls trying to like measure it out. Ultimately, they just didn't look good. So I think I'm gonna just try a different art project. I really want something to be behind me in my videos because the white wall is starting to get boring and I'm tired of it. So hopefully I can just try a different art project. I'll probably do it in another vlog. So make sure you're subscribed. But there's something else I want to talk to you guys about. Um, today is Friday and it wasn't until later on last night that I really realized that I don't think that I did, like, to my standards, I don't think that I did fine. I did okay, but to my standards, I think that I could have done better. And I passed the clinical readiness exam, so I am ready to go to clinic, but I just feel like I could have done better. So leading up to my next session, which will be my actual first day, technically, I'm giving myself a second first day. Um, I'm just gonna prepare more. I'm going to review all of my notes for ant set conditions, post set conditions, review the procedures, review the techniques, the different illumination techniques and all those kinds of things to really prepare myself for the second first day of clinic. I got to a really low point last night and I put a lot of pressure on myself and sometimes it's unnecessary, but that is what made me realize that I need to do more and I can do better and there's room for growth and it's okay. But uh, I just wanted to kind of update you guys because although I said earlier or when I got back from 
clinic that it was fine and it went fine it did go okay but i feel like i could have done better but that's basically it for that i'm probably gonna vlog that day so make sure to subscribe if you guys like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up let me know in the comment section down below if you've made it that this far in the video thank you so much for watching all the way through comment down below hashtag made it and until next time guys stay hydrated stay motivated and mind your business i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys Thank <laughs> you.